Hi friends, this video is a demo in brief about Excel based cricket scoreboard. The detailed functioning of the workbook has been explained in my another video that can be viewed on YouTube by searching best cricket scoreboard in MS Excel. The cricket enthusiasts, tournament organizers and sports teachers may like to see that detailed video. To start with the functioning of this uh, workbook in brief, uh, one can start with the first tab where match team names are to be keyed in. Here you can key in the name of the team as well as the na name of the players. Team B and player. In this cell you can uh, key in the number of overs that you want to play. In T20 we are going to play with 20 overs. Maybe due to restriction of time or some other condition you want to play less than 20 overs that can also be keyed in here. Match number for accounting the number of the match, serial number of the match in any tournament, date of the match, time of this match and the location where it is going to be played. Now when the match starts, come to this sheet where this field is already populated, betting by Team India, playing batsmen, you will be able to select here from the drop down menu available, two batsmen who will be there on crease. To start with the first over, this is the field that we required to feed in data. So first over will be thrown by Mohamed Amir which has already been thrown in this case here and uh, these are the batsmen who have played, these are the runs scored by them against them and the remarks column will provide you facility to feed in the no ball, white ball, extra runs and uh, bold and other comments. Coming down, once you fill in that uh, area above, this data will be populated, here you can see the scored runs. In this over, extra due to no ball and wide will be shown here. Due to by, leg by, total balls thrown, that can be more than the uh, more than six because of the uncounted balls that in no ball and wide ball. Co not counted balls are one in this case and counted balls will be shown here. Coming down further, you get the details of this over as per the batsman. Over was thrown by Mohamed Amir and the details are as follows, Virat in this particular over has scored 9, Dhoni scored 4 and Yuvraj has also scored 4. The green background shows that these are the two batsmen on crease as of now. Coming at the top side of the sheet, uh, this top row with back, white background will always give you number of overs thrown so far, the runs made and the wickets taken so far. Because this data will continue throughout the sheet in order to facilitate the commentator so that this critical data is always available in his in front of his eyes and uh, so that a better commentary can be made. Like this one needs to, the scorer needs to feed in the data over wise, first, second, third, fourth and till 20 overs the data needs to be filled in as the match goes. Coming to the team A batting summary that is the third tab, here the summary of Team A batting is available to you, scored runs, extra runs, extra runs due to buy, leg buy, total balls thrown and other important parameters like total overs played so far, sum of total runs, total wickets and average run rate is also available to you readily. There is current date and time and uh, the batsman wise runs till now are available here in the summary. Whoever batsman scores highest runs will be shown like this with red background. And any batsman scoring up 50 or above will be shown with blue background. Here, while team A was batting, team B was bowling. So, the summary of bowling is also required to be made available. The bowler wise runs given and the wickets taken are shown over here. And the bowler who gave maximum runs and got maximum wickets are also indicated. The next time will show you the progress of runs over wise which can be used for comparison purpose. The next three tabs will deal with batting by team B. Uh, so uh, required data can be fed in, in this tab and team B batting summary will be available here and team A bowling summary like the earlier three sheets of team A batting. Similarly, they are supposed to be filled in. The last tab will have operating instructions for the scorer who will be feeding the data so as there are no errors and easy for the scorer to feed in. 
There are many more powerful features of this scoreboard which are shown in the detailed video. If you want to organize a tournament or learn power of Excel, then watch my detailed video by searching best cricket scoreboard in MS Excel on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Happy games.